It's stunning security footage captured by one East York man showing an individual casually walking from vehicle to vehicle attempting to force their way in before finally hitting the jackpot and getting into this van. I'm Faiza Amin, your O'Connor and St. Clair. The owner of that vehicle claims this isn't the first time these thefts have been occurring in his area. In fact, this is the third time that thieves have forced their way into his car, taking his personal and expensive belongings. When I start seeing the footages of people walking at nighttime and checking doors and, and cars, it, it, it makes me worried. Sadly for Diogo Beltran, who has only lived on Leander Court for six months, car thefts are becoming all too common. And he's going to check out the, the fifth car, which is my car. This latest one, he says, was captured on his security cameras early Sunday morning. Was the vehicle locked? Yes, the vehicle was locked. Claiming that the three in the last six months have led to a laptop, the garage controller, and files with personal information stolen from both his vehicles in the driveway. It starts off by them breaking in your car, and then they get the you know your car documents, and then they maybe steal your vehicle later. Then they get your car garage controller. Then they get inside your house. The father of three says he's reported all three thefts, including the most recent one that happened a little after 2:30 a.m. to Toronto Police. The second time, the, the police was 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 truthful to me. It was like, look, we have limited resources for these small crimes. Police say that's not the case. It may take some time for police to attend the address because we're responding to high priority calls throughout the city like shootings, robberies, holdups. But when uh, we're able to, we'll send an officer to further follow up. Police confirm they received Beltran's reports through their online reporting system, but add if this is happening throughout the neighborhood, more people need to come forward. What I could see on file was two or three reports on file over the span of the last few months. Beltran says several of his neighbors whose vehicles were robbed don't file reports fearing it will affect the area's reputation and land value. The Director of Consumer and Industry Relations with the Insurance Bureau of Canada says your insurance could also take a hit. One of the factors that uh, is calculated into uh, insurance premiums is the area that your vehicle is stored in because certain areas may have higher theft frequencies, may have higher frequency of vandalism, and, and so if that's the case, it potentially could result in premiums being affected. But Beltran says safety is more of a priority. I, I call to people's attention that, you know, the. You know, things have to be done, you know. If you're a citizen in the city, you know, you got to help the police out. Bertrand says he's increasing security measures around his home, including adding additional security cameras as well as adding alarms to his vehicles. Now, this story was sent to us by a city news viewer. If you see news in the making, you can get in touch with us through email, phone or Twitter. In East York, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.